I am Paul Foote. This is the Foote Report. Welcome to my guide to stand-up comedy. Today, we look at the role within stand-up comedy of sex. Uh, did you go into stand-up comedy basically because you couldn't get sex? No, it was more because I couldn't make it in a rock band. That was always the motivation for me. Which basically means I couldn't get sex, yeah. I don't know, is that why you went into comedy? I was getting too much of it. I still can't get sex. So I needed another hobby. But what about women? You get sex anyway, don't you? Uh, well, not necessarily. You still have to put the work in sometimes. I don't, think, I don't think men like women to be funny. What, what sort of work would you have to do? Maybe answering your name? I record all of the applause breaks I've had, and then after the show I play them back to myself while masturbating. I mean, I, I remember a big shift in life when I, I stopped masturbating about, you know, you got a glimpse of tit when you were like 14 or something like that. And I, when I stopped fucking masturbating about that and, and got to talk to women and meet women and try and make women laugh, and then you were actually having a genuine conversation with a girl, and you could masturbate about that. That was a lot hornier. If sex be the food of love, lay on. Because I've actually only had sex five, six times, like five to get all the kids, and then so once because we needed to get the bathroom retiled. Are your breasts an important part of your humour? Actually, uh, yes. Um, they help for the audience to be a little bit more focused. When you said we, I thought maybe you'd, uh, you'd <laughs> both done it. You'd had a threesome with the bathroom tiler. I've never been this close to anyone I've not made love to before. <laughs> I joined in with the tiler, and uh, we got a very bad job done. Did you? The grouting, absolutely <laughs> useless. Appalling grouting. Does telling a joke get you a poke? I think there's two types of um, comedians. There's the ones who are quite gregarious and extrovert and they try and sleep with members of the audience, you know? And then there's the ones who have sort of families and girlfriends and kids and s stuff, and uh, they generally sleep with the barmaids. I, I haven't had sex under the present Labour administration. Paul, Paul likes dressing up for me, but we're not gay. Did you have sex under the Tories, or was it basically sex under Wilson? It was Wilson, Harold. He was very good, and he used to wear a Mac. It was lovely. And s sometimes we have a little kiss, but we're, we're not, not in a gay way. You're so little. Uh, have you ever had anyone who's wanted to, like, ha like take you and, and keep you? Um, I do. Uh, oh, well, maybe you should end this interview now. 